scientists are voicing their concern over research into modifying insects to spread viruses, a Pentagon project designed to protect crops. It's a theory Hollywood horror movies have already got to grips with. You haven't just released a transmissible virus, you've released a disease. The United States knows better than to return to a biological arms race. The program may be widely perceived as an effort to develop biological agents for hostile purposes and their means of delivery, which, if true, would constitute a breach of the Biological Weapons Convention. Well, the Insect Allies project began in 2016 and is aimed at protecting agriculture, but also includes developing a defensive response to, quote, threats introduced by state or non-state actors, and all with the help of insects. Well, in nature, bugs routinely spread viruses among plants, but recent genetic advances could now allow scientists to customise those viruses by using modified insects to spark changes in target crops such as tomatoes or corn, making them more resilient to drought or to flooding. But scientists say it's like opening a Pandora's box, which once open could lead to unpredictable consequences. They suspect that the gene engineering could lead to unforeseen mutations, potentially making plants carcinogenic. The insects themselves could prove hard to control, and there's also the fear that it's a route towards biological warfare, which is forbidden by the Biological Weapons Convention. Well, those scientists behind the research say there's nothing to worry about. Technologies dealing with food security and gene editing certainly do have a higher bar than most for transparency, research ethics and regulatory engagement, and I believe Insect Allies meets that raised standard. We reach for fundamentally new ways of delivering more precise, efficacious treatments through systems that can be readily adapted to confront a range of potential threats. It is very, very rare for a single gene to create such a widespread result in the plant. Mostly, these things like increased yield or resistance to disease, they require many different genes working in coordination. And we don't yet speak the language of the genome. So if they're claiming that this technology with a $45 million budget over a few years will solve those problems, they're either highly naive or they're hiding something. Obviously, these uh, genetically engineered insects could be used as biological weapons. Uh, there's no doubt that if you create insects that can insert uh, genetic constructs and change genetic expression, they can be used as weapons. Uh, what's also interesting is that even if it were not being used at, as weapons, it's extremely dangerous, enormously dangerous to even release these. At this point, they're already releasing them in greenhouses. And if there was an earthquake or some kind of problem where they released, we have no idea how they might actually uh, reproduce and propagate in the gene pool, changing the nature of our ecology perhaps forever.